Did you know Bill Gates' TerraPower nuclear energy project has already begun building a natrium demonstration plant? No. The company has also partnered with other utility companies to develop additional natrium reactors and create optional fuel supply chains for the United States. Here are the top natrium reactor updates so far. Natrium Demonstration Plant TerraPower, a company that was co-founded by Bill Gates, has located Kemmerer, Wyoming, a frontier-era coal town, as the site to build the company's first demonstration plant. The company, which seeks to revolutionize the use of nuclear energy in a less harmful way, has already begun work at the site, conducting a number of subsurface and geotechnical tests. According to TerraPower, Kemmerer is selected as the location for the demonstration plant due to its geological advantages, such as its quality soil conditions. Bill Gates also talks more about the reasons for his choice of Wyoming. This natrium technology, which is a collaboration between TerraPower and GE Hitachi Nuclear Energy, would provide a 345 megawatts base load of nuclear energy that could be expanded to a capacity of 500 megawatts. The project is expected to be completed in 2028 and would cost $4 billion to complete. However, the United States Department of Energy's Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program will bear half of the cost in support of the U.S.'s competition against China and Russia in the field of advanced nuclear technology. This is just a fraction of the financial aid that TerraPower is receiving in support of their quest for advanced nuclear energy. Watch to the end to know how the company attained the highest private fundraise. Contrary to the proposed completion date, the project might be pushed two years back due to the lack of HALU. The company's CEO, Chris Levesque, stated in a release that TerraPower submitted a plan to meet this timeline, which assumed the use of HALU from Russia for our first core load, as the United States stood up its own HALU production capabilities. However, in February 2022, Russia's invasion of Ukraine caused the only commercial source of HALU fuel to no longer be a viable part of the supply chain for TerraPower, as well as for others in our industry. As such, there is the need to further postpone the completion date. Deployment of five additional natrium reactors. TerraPower has partnered with Pacificorp, a utility company, to undergo a study to evaluate deploying five more natrium reactors with integrated energy storage in Pacificorp's territory by 2035. This partnership will seek to identify opportunities that would reduce the cost of energy usage for Pacificorp's customers and also spread natrium reactors wider. You will want to watch to the end to know more about TerraPower's partnerships with other companies to create safer nuclear energy usage options. Chris Levesque, CEO of TerraPower, believes that this partnership is a great step in building the energy grid of the future for Pacific Corp's users and a typical example of the benefits that advanced nuclear energy brings to utilities. The two companies are yet to settle on a particular location for the new natrium reactors. However, indications show that they are looking for sites that offer the same geological benefits and energy expertise as TerraPower's natrium demonstration plant at Kemmerer, Wyoming they might as well settle for locations near the current fossil fuels generation sites to help Pacify Corp users to continue using the current generation and transmission assets. The two companies are expected to complete a joint feasibility study in choosing the right site by the end of 2023. Subscribe to our channel for more details on Bill Gates' Nutrium Reactor and anything Gates related. We will serve you with the best updates. Largest Private Fundraise TerraPower attained the largest private fundraise after gaining financial support from companies and investors amounting to $830 million. Led by SK Incorporated and SK Innovation and TerraPower's co-founder, Bill Gates, the fundraising seeks to support TerraPower's development and deployment of Natrium Reactor, which aims to improve human use of nuclear energy. The TerraPower Isotopes program that is championing the fight against cancer and the molten chloride fast reactor experiment. Key among the contributors of the fundraising includes ArcelorMittal, the world's leading steel company, which has invested through its XCARB Innovation Fund and Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering, the intermediate holding company of Hyundai Heavy Industries Group's shipbuilding sector. XCARB Innovation Fund in particular contributed to the fundraise due to the bright innovations of TerraPower, which is in line with XCARB's motives of investing in the brightest ideas that seek to decarbonize the world. 
partnership with Global Nuclear Fuel. TerraPower, again, has reached an agreement with Global Nuclear Fuel, a world-leading supplier of boiling water reactor fuel and fuel-related engineering services, to build a natrium fuel facility near Wilmington. The natrium fuel facility will be of great benefit to the United States, as it will provide a fuel supply chain that will be required for the U.S. to deploy advanced reactors domestically and globally. As such, the Nutrium Fuel Facility Project, which will cost about $200 million, will be jointly financed by Terra Power and the U.S. Department of Energy through the Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program. The construction is expected to commence in 2023. What do you make of the partnerships and advancements of Terra Power toward nuclear energy? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Bill Gates' Natria reactor would be of great benefit to the United States and the world in general when it sees the light of day. However, Gates thinks Elon Musk's SpaceX project to Mars is just an amusing idea. Click on the link to know more about that.